Why no aquarium has a great white shark? Aquariums are popular for displaying a wide range of sea creatures, from colorful fish to fearsome sharks. However, one ocean predator that remains absent from these exhibits is the great white shark. Despite being one of the most iconic sharks in the world, no aquarium has successfully housed a great white shark for an extended period. The reason lies in a combination of biological, logistical, and ethical challenges. This video explores the complex factors that explain why no aquarium has ever been able to keep a great white shark. Here are six essential reasons why no aquarium has a great white shark. 1. The nature of the great white shark. The great white shark is a species that thrives in open ocean environments. These sharks are known for their incredible size, some growing up to 6 meters, and their wide-ranging migratory behavior. They are highly specialized predators, traveling vast distances across oceans to find food and suitable breeding grounds. Their constant movement and specific needs make it almost impossible for any tank to replicate the conditions they experience in the wild. Unlike many species of sharks that can remain still and pump water over their gills to breathe, great whites must swim constantly. This method of breathing, called obligate ram ventilation, requires the shark to move forward to force water through its gills. This need for continuous movement poses a significant challenge in captivity. In an aquarium setting, even large tanks limit their ability to swim freely, leading to stress, injury, and ultimately death. When great white sharks are unable to swim in a straight line or turn in open spaces, their health rapidly deteriorates. 2. Their dietary and hunting needs. Great white sharks are apex predators, and their diet in the wild consists of marine mammals like seals and sea lions, as well as large fish. They use their sharp senses and speed to hunt, often stalking prey for long periods before making swift, powerful attacks. This behavior is not easily replicated in a confined space. Even in the rare instances when aquariums have tried to feed great whites, they often refuse food. Their diet in the wild is not only specific but also tied to their natural hunting behaviors. Sharks in aquariums do not have the space to execute these complex hunting strategies, and as a result, they can become disoriented or lose interest in eating altogether. Feeding great white sharks in captivity has proven to be one of the most significant hurdles, with many individuals becoming malnourished and dying within days or weeks of being confined. In one notable case, the Monterey Bay Aquarium in California managed to keep a young great white shark in captivity for six months in 2004, but the shark's diet and size eventually forced its release. Despite initial success, the tank environment limited the shark's growth and behavior, leading to the decision to return it to the wild. 3. The need for vast space. One of the biggest reasons no aquarium has a great white shark is the simple issue of space. Great whites are used to swimming in open waters, often diving to deep depths and traveling long distances. Replicating this environment in an aquarium is impossible. Even the largest aquarium tanks in the world cannot match the scale of the ocean. In Egypt, for example, the Red Sea boasts diverse marine life and sprawling coral reefs. Imagine trying to contain a creature that naturally thrives in the wide expanses of the Red Sea within the confines of a tank. Great whites are known to cover hundreds of kilometers in a matter of weeks. Placing them in an aquarium even one of the largest, like the Georgia Aquarium in the United States, would still confine them to a space that is a fraction of their natural habitat. This lack of space not only affects their physical health but also causes psychological stress. In several attempts to keep great white sharks in captivity, the animals exhibited signs of stress, such as bumping into walls, swimming in erratic patterns, and showing aggressive or lethargic behaviors. 4. Failed attempts to keep great white sharks in captivity. Over the years, various aquariums around the world have tried to display great white sharks, but all have ended in failure. The longest a great white shark has survived in captivity is just over six months. This was achieved by the Monterey Bay Aquarium, which specifically designed a tank for the shark, but even they had to release the animal when it became too large and began to show signs of distress. An attempt was made by the Okinawa Chirami Aquarium in Japan, which housed a great white shark in 2016. Despite their efforts, the shark died after only three days. This short-lived attempt highlighted the severe challenges in providing the right conditions for great white sharks in aquariums, even with advanced technology and care. Aquariums in regions like Egypt, 
particularly near coastal cities such as Alexandria, are often focused on showcasing local marine life from the Mediterranean. These aquariums, while fascinating, are far too small to consider housing a great white. In fact, even the largest aquariums globally have struggled with these logistical challenges. 5. Ethical Considerations The repeated failures to keep great white sharks alive in captivity raise significant ethical questions. Great whites play a crucial role in marine ecosystems as apex predators. They help maintain balance by controlling the population of other species, contributing to the overall health of the ocean. Attempting to capture and keep them in small tanks goes against modern conservation principles. Many experts now believe that rather than trying to keep great whites in aquariums, we should focus on protecting their natural habitats. The fascination with great white sharks can be satisfied through documentaries, virtual reality experiences, and live footage from the wild, allowing people to observe these incredible creatures without harming them. In Egypt, with its rich marine heritage, this approach can be seen in conservation efforts for species in the Red Sea. Protecting the delicate balance of marine life, from coral reefs to predatory fish, is becoming more central to the way marine life is understood and preserved. 6. The Future of Shark Conservation The inability to house great white sharks in aquariums does not mean they cannot be appreciated or protected. Many aquariums have shifted their focus toward educating the public on the importance of these sharks through alternative means. Documentaries such as Blue Planet and Shark Week specials have helped to demystify the great white and shift public perception away from fear to admiration and conservation. In regions like North Africa and the Middle East, where coastal communities rely heavily on the ocean, the emphasis is shifting towards sustainable marine tourism and protecting endangered species. Egypt's Red Sea resorts, for example, now promote sustainable diving and snorkeling trips that allow tourists to observe marine life without disturbing the natural environment. The absence of great white sharks from aquariums is not due to a lack of desire or resources but rather the immense challenges involved in keeping them alive and healthy in captivity. Their size, migratory behavior, dietary needs, and sensitivity to confined spaces make them unsuitable for life in a tank. Moreover, the ethical implications of confining such magnificent creatures for public display are becoming increasingly hard to ignore. Great white sharks are best appreciated in their natural habitat, where they play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of marine ecosystems. Instead of trying to capture them, we should focus on preserving the oceans and educating people about the vital role these creatures play in the wild. Through modern technology and conservation efforts, it is possible to experience the awe of great white sharks without compromising their health or well-being.